viewers, uh, welcome to uh, another week of the Boaz blog. I uh, hope you're well. Here with Mark. Hi. And Daniel's leg in the background. And there's Daniel's head. Um, anyway. Good Not week? Not a bad week. Uh, having chemotherapy tomorrow. Um, my third session of my third cycle. Uh, put back a week because of the fire. Inconsiderate. Um, so I won't really have a week off this week because my tablets finish on Tuesday as well but the effects of the chemotherapy will last for a few days uh, and then I will start cycle four the following Tuesday will be well. <coughs> Those watching America's Lots Top Model, please don't confuse it with season four um, yeah. but cycle four. Cycle four, there's, there's no seasons in this, it's just one long winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. season. We were technically. Um, you wanted to talk about the side effects of uh, what you're going through. Yeah, I've been asked. Um, you have maybe some visual ways of doing that for us. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me take my... This is a risk, viewers. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> Can you tell us what this is supposed to denote? Oh, well, this is just because my niece likes it pickle. Okay. Hello, <laughs> Carrie. Ickle Pickles on the computer. And we also have Ups and Daisy. Now. It's the Minky Monk. No, it's not. <laughs> it's me. It's the Boaz blog. Uh, never work with children, animals, or puppets. But um, people have asked me, how, how can you be on chemotherapy? You, you have your hair. Um, it so happens that my, my drugs that I'm taking, and I'm taking for three months, don't aren't normally affecting hair loss. Otherwise, I would look, probably look a little like Ickle Pickle. Is that uncommon, to have ones that don't affect your hair? I think with the type of chemo I'm having, it, yeah, it's uncommon. Okay. Overall, you associate chemotherapy with hair loss. Yep. So I am not Ickle Pickle. <laughs> Bye, Ickle Pickle. Where's your blanket, Ickle Pickle? It's on his own. <laughs> but I'm more like Upsy Daisy, who has thinning hair. Um, yeah, you know, I do that. Again, well, that's quite see. a clump. I mean, uh, uh, if you see that, that's his hair. It, it, it falls out. It, it's falling out more. I suppose with three months worth of poison going inside. You can't turn those puppets off. It could be good doing a little dance. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, you have other weight loss. <laughs> so, we got a slight problem with Nickel Pickle. Pickle. He's got, he doesn't like not being in the camera. Um, okay. Your legs. I've lost my hair in my legs, um, it's falling out, uh, my hands are falling out, the, the hair in my hands and wrists are falling out. I don't know how long, I, the plan is I might have three more months of chemotherapy, maybe then my hair will be uh, will fall out totally, who knows. I mean I'm upset a little bit because in London, northwest London, for those of you from abroad or other parts, the hair thing was, was, my, was my key power attribute to get women. Otherwise, they look, most men, single, look like that. We have exhibit A. Bald. I had hair. I, not on my back as well. I had just hair here. It was great. Now it's, you know, bits and pieces are falling out. I haven't had a haircut since October. Hairdresser's pissed off. But, you know, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> so um, do, yeah. I have other side effects. Um, my fingers are brown. Uh, and you can see that they're much darker at the tip than they, they should be. And I hope that's not going to have a relevance to your next... No, <laughs> no, no, uh, and brown, I can see the brown, brown spots, and they're happening around my body now. I think you can see my, my rash is a lot worse than normal, and again, that, that's difficult to go out, because I'm conscious of the fact that, that I have th these spots, and people may not know what it is, and they just might think I'm dirty, you know, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, mm. I have cancer. And, and in no way is your hands relevant to the fact that you often go to the toilet as well. I need a toilet near me at all times, I mean, not just to empty my bowels, but sometimes I've had to be sick. Um, it's, not a, it's not easy. It, I can understand fully why people, and some people do, give up having chemotherapy, because it, it's tough. 
um, I've lost weight and everything else, but you know, it's a battle worth fighting. Oh, it's certainly worth fighting. And we, your next uh, scan to see if you have shrinkage is yeah. uh, when? Hopefully in five weeks' time when I complete cycle four. Um, and that, and you know, we're, we're hoping that that will work. And uh, if it's positive and it shrinks in the right areas, then you will be able to have an operation. I'm hoping I'll be operable. Uh, that will mean that um, if it shrinks off the vein, they'll be able to perform what they call a Whipple operation, which involves taking out some or all of the pancreas and some of the lower intestine and the colon. Um, it's a major operation. Can't hide behind it. Um, I believe I was once told it was a five percent death, five percent chance of death on the table, which is you know I'll, I'll take those odds. Um, you got to go through it. Yeah, you're going to prefer them to say there's a ninety-five percent success rate though, surely then. Yeah, well this guy, he's come to his whole So, so we're thinking shrinkage, we're thinking whipple. Thinking shrinkage, I, 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to a whipple. Anyone who, who wants to give me a whipple without shrinkage, I'm happy to have a whipple. So. Uh, just put a comment on this blog saying to the attention of Whipple. If you, if, you, if you can do a Whipple without shrinkage, please email in. Great. Um, you want to make an announcement um, really? regarding um, uh, something that you're going to be doing? Yeah, well, um, we're going to do a quiz tonight for, for everybody. Um, in, in aid of the Royal Marsden, the fundraising is just immense, and I thank you all for, for who have donated. But we just thought we'd do a bit of a night of uh, quiz, fun, bit of supper. Uh, we're doing tables of 10, 250 pounds a table. It's 25 pound a head. You don't have to get a table, obviously. You can get. Yeah, but you know, nice to do it with your friends. You get, get a group of friends together, buy yourselves a table, have a good time. Um, Mark will be there. I'll be there. We all hope. Um, unless I'm having a whipple. Um, <laughs> In but case it's going to be a very strange evening. It's going to be a strange evening. I can do it over the phone. But um, it's held. It's in Elstree, at Allen Hall in Elstree. We're going to post a little comment with the blog. Uh, you'll see. Now, if you're interested and you want to take part in the quiz, you need to email the Boaz blog at hotmail.co.uk. That's the Boaz, B O A S, blog at hotmail.co.uk, stating your interest that you would like to have a table. But like the YouTube thing here, it is the in front of it as yes. opposed to Boaz blog. No, it's the, the, the Boaz yeah. blog at hotmail.co.uk. Do that, you email in. If you're in the top, you know, it's a first come, first serve basis. We're hoping to have 40 tables. If you're, if you're there, we'll email you back and tell you how to pay. If you're, if you're a bit late, you know, we'll put you on standby because people drop out and whatever. But it's April the 6th, 7.30 in the evening, 7 o'clock in the evening. In, in L Street, all the details will be supplied and they will be posted on here, on the website, and, uh, and on, the, on the blog, and also I believe on the Facebook Jason Boaz support page or whatever it is called. The details will be posted there as well, which also brings me to another event that's happening very quickly. Certainly, in New York, on, 45 seconds. In New York on Thursday night, there is a another event for pancreatic cancer. If you can make it, it's at a bar, happy hour. Please come along. The details are going on the Facebook site. Will you be there? I won't be there, <laughs> but there might be a picture of me. Uh, anyway, take care. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, good night.